what oh what's efficient no way she Hello and welcome to Marriage of One True Girlfriend Episode 5! Woo! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god, guys. I was just so excited last week because I thought we get to see the new girl. You can just tell from the intro how excited I am. But no, turns out that is another filler-ish, not filler-ish episode. What am I talking about? A developmental episode where we get to see Suzuka really blend into the Harum team because, well, you usually don't see this a lot of Harum where girls tend to, you know, uh, attack each other for getting the way of the relationship with the main boy but no since that last episode those main two girls you know allow her to be part of the team get her to be more aggressive be more expressive of her feelings so you know it was a really good episode get to see shizuka really express herself even more get to be part of the team feel like she's part of the harem this time so it was a really fun world beating ish episode i'll say in this case but of course we got that out of the way now and now today's episode we get to see the new girl nano yeah man like oh my god i am just so excited for her because you can already can tell from last week that i am looking forward to Asami Seto voicing her because I can already tell that she is easily gonna be my favorite girl for the season basing on her you know physical features and of course most importantly the voice man the oh my god when I saw it in the trailer I was just like oh my god she's definitely gonna be my favorite girl for this season man so yeah definitely looking forward to see how this new girl fit into the team I'm pretty sure she's like, she's like a very coolish show girl from what I can see too so oh, you can just tell how excited I am man the new girl Nano can wait man let's just see how amazing she is for today's first episode so, so overall oh, first episode for her i'm pretty sure the next two episode or one episode will focus more on her too so guys i'm excited man so with that let's just dive into this episode to check out how good is nano is man let's play oh and let's get started with the brand new girl for this series and definitely i am so excited to check her out because she literally been voiced by asami seto and i'm pretty sure she's going for the well let's just say alpha voice i mean if i remember what i can hear from the trailer so yeah with that said let's play Oh, you know, my Sakura Moto, you could compare that to. But yeah, I gotta say, man, looking forward to see how the new girl goes. Because I heard that she's like a nerd or something. So yeah, cool. You know what's funny? When Shizuka joins the harem, she's always hang out with them now. Like, you can say when the girls became the harem member, the, you know, the, one of the Infinity Stones, they just continue to hang out for the rest of the day and stuff. Or until something... <laughs> So I guess this is where he meets the new one. One four, by the way, the fourth girl. See some coincidence right there, man. See the coincidence. Yeah, she's here. And I gotta say, man, silver hair girl always looks amazing, man. Mhm. Mm Muiji. Oh, the arrogance. Oh, she did a head tilt. She did the head tilt. Oh my god. No, the fated to be lovers. Just like that. Just like that, everyone. The fourth girl, the fourth infinity zone, secured. Yep. The fourth girl, everyone. Let's go, baby. Yep. She's holding it in, isn't she? She's holding it in. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can tell from the change of voice tone. She's holding it back of feelings right now, man. You love to see it. Yep, I'm waiting for her to break character. Or not. Damn, of course the Cinder girl has to be the weakest. He's 88 place. He's even worse. <laughs> so let me guess she's number one. Yep, definitely, man. Wow, full point too. Full point. Like, wow, she's that smart, isn't she? <laughs> mm -hmm. What? What's the rumors? So, basically, she's a perfectionist then. She's a perfectionist. Why the puppet reference though? But okay. But yeah, she's a perfectionist. Then that means she is very like mature studious and stuff like that i mean i gotta say man she she has the looks man dude AI got the looks man like the red eyes though 
the red eyes is like this makes it look so good uh-huh <laughs> Yep, she's the beauty. Oh, beauty time. Love it. She's a beauty type. You gotta love it. Mm -hmm. She drew her out. Wow. Damn. I remember doing this back in high school, though. Like, draw out the cells and labeled it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, yeah, man. She's such a, you know, stuck up girl, I would say. Mm -hmm. What the hell is she doing? What is she doing looking through a textbook? I know there's bacteria inside the textbook, but. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, ouch. I hate it when that happens. Mm -hmm. What's the, oh, what's efficient? No way, she. Wait, girls don't do this, right? Why did she... Oh, look at the animation of the tongue bath. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, the details, man. What's with these details? This close-up. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck, yo? Yeah, what are you doing, man? What the fuck is she... What is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Okay, she's peak already, man. She is fucking peak. She is peak. I love her already. I think her breast size is also the same as, uh, you know, a blonde, pink hair. No, well, well, a pink hair girl, I'll say. Sorry, Kurumi. Mm. Mm. I think our hobby is just studying. See, she's that, she's that sort of girl, man. She prefers to study. She is not the fun girl. She's the studious girl. I can... I can... I know a lot of people like that, by the way, in love anime shows. But it just takes a certain person to break them away from that sort of, like, hob, you know, mindset, I'll say. So I guess this is where our boy Aijo comes in to teach you the meaning of fun in life. I guess that's what he's going to do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, elegance. Elegance, man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, she is though. I'm pretty sure she's acting cool in front of you. I think she's gonna break character like around now. She's gonna break character, man. I'm waiting for it. She painted her nails too. Okay. There we go. There we go. Breaking character. Breaking character, then. Breaking bad. Oh my god. She's gonna break bad. <laughs> ah, hey! <laughs> Let's go! Wow, the tongue bath. 
<laughs> man, that blush, man. That blush killed it. Oh my god. This is the feeling of love. It might be illogic. Wait, she's writing the whole pie formula? Really? We all need to know 3.14, okay? Mm hmm. No. Pie is life. The life of Pi. That is the movie, by the way. The Oscar movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she she's not focusing, man. <laughs> now she looks at some sort of cold girl you're trying to summon a demon with all those things sticking around her room. What she do now? Reject him or something? Oh wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? What? What's with this? What's with this formality? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! What? I thought she got rid. Wait, what? Huh? What? What happened? Oh, I see. I love you, but I already decline you. What kind of fucked up confession scene is this? So you're telling me now she's gonna study the meaning of love now? So this whole thing is experiment for her then? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, the head tilt. She did the monogatory head tilt. Oh my god. Yeah, I just not let that slip, man. He's not gonna let that pass. Uh-huh, go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that sucks for you. <laughs> but he's, he has experience, man. He has experience. He's not gonna let this slide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Joe man with his chat move right here man. Yo yo asking her on a date. Damn. Persistency always pays off everyone. Persistency always pays off. He do he has some good style though, not gonna lie. Dress or jeans? Jeans. She's wearing jeans. She's wearing fucking jeans. Of course she's wearing jeans. Oh, I love it. You know, girls wearing jeans, girls wearing dress tells a lot about their personality and the fashion taste. So if she's wearing jeans, she's like the cool type. I love it. I mean, I gotta say, yeah, I went for the simple look, though. That's what I like about girls. Not to go overboard with their outfit. Just keep it simple. Mm-hmm. I, I hate those cameras, by the way. I, I never a big fan of those instant cameras. Hmm. Hey. No, no, cheese as in like cheese. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Haunted house. Let me guess. She's not scared of anything. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Dude, she's unfazed, man. Typical, man. I just knew she's not gonna be phased by easily. Mm 
Hmm. Why does all couple like to ride this? Oh no, she has motion sickness. She has motion sickness. Oh no. Dude, I don't get this ride to be honest. Why does couple like to ride in this some lame cup spinning? Yeah, she has motion sickness. Oh wow, okay. Dude, this is cheating, man. That's not the that's not the point. That's not the point of playing a maze, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, girl, nothing always goes your way, okay? You appreciate what's in front of you. Man, this girl, man, she oh, she's just one thing's convenient for her, I would say. Oh, what's going on here? Really? Damn, her voice changed a lot, man. She is definitely not a pair of heights. She's definitely a pair of heights. Hmm. Oh. Chad. Chad. He's a Chad. He he read the mood. He understood the mood. He's a Chad, man. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. Come on. Hug her. Comfort her. Hold her hand. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, not there yet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh my god, they're, they're doing some erotic hand-holding. Good. Hmm. Mm. Oh, no. No, come on, girl. Come on, man. This is I do teaching you there's more there's life more than just studying, okay? What? Wait, what? What do you mean by you raise it? Wait, he brought a match? Are you kidding me? Dude, are you- are you fucking kidding me? You- are you testing her, aren't you? You're testing her. You're testing her. Oh, you got, There we go. There we go. He was testing her, man. She do- she does care. She really do care, man. <laughs> uh oh, you expose her. Oh, that shot right there is beautiful. You gain happiness, you gain feelings. That's what you learn from this date, man. Oh, the blush! Oh, oh shit! The blush! Oh my god! Oh, that is so beautiful, man. That damn, our boy Ijo really know how to read the mood, teach a girl life lessons. Oh, this is amazing. Mm 
<laughs> what the hell? Seriously? <laughs> no way she's gonna lick it. Uh. Okay, I mean, the way she said it, though, is not so romantic, but very straightforward. I mean, I like it, though, but it's so straightforward. <laughs> like, very calm demeanor about it, too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fourth girl acquired. Fourth girl acquired, man. Oh, no way. Oh, yes! Come on, let's go. Damn. Okay, she's peak, man. Okay, I like her a lot now. Even more than any other three girls. Oh my god. Best girl of the season. Calling it right now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bro. I love her. Yeah, man. She's so good. I love her already. Yes. Erotic hand holding. Let's go, baby. And welcome to the harem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, girl, kill, man. What? Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, it's come to think of it, he never really took them to the day other than the eye though. That's sad. Shangri-La. Shangri-La Frontier, okay. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's a beach? Maybe the beach? Why not beach? Oh, Warpark works though. Wait, Warpark works, man. Oh my god, this guy knows our taste in anime, man. With swimsuit episode incoming. Um, in, uh, in a nutshell, um, fan service incoming. So yeah, next week's gonna be fucking peak, everyone. We're gonna get ourselves the fan service episode that we all wanted it. And I'm pretty sure next episode is, is also another episode like we have for Shizuka where we get to see how EI blends in with the harem, get to know the girls and get to, you know, feel valued by the three girls like what you know, they did for Shizuka like last episode. So yeah, definitely you can say EI is now officially part of the, you know, <laughs> IGO Infinity Stones. <laughs> so but still though god say man yeah I, I love her man I, I mean of course she has this sort of calm demeanor about her holding back her feelings she's like the so sort of cool girl that a lot of harem show that need to have so she kind of fits into that sort of territory of cool girl very um stubborn with some of her decisions in life studious and most importantly very anti-social which in the end though um Aijo taught her the meaning of being uh, you know fun Tell her that there's more than just studying and numbers. You can you 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 can like go out and express your feelings more, and just like you know enjoy yourself and rather than hold yourself back because you know you you feel you, you feel like you have to do do this in order to maintain your well, well first in the um so to say um personality in some ways you know like you know not show your weakness because like I think. The reason why she didn't want to enjoy having fun and stuff like that, so that you know she doesn't want to like be seen as, you know, very um weak uh, uh this sort of like weak-minded girl that you know just wanted to have fun. She wanted to be strong. She just wanted to, like uh, to be some you know uh, like a very st uh, stuck-up girl so that people can look up to her. But guess in the end though, have you know she just wanted to have fun. She just want to have friends. So I do you know let her have those feelings and, and guess what it worked in the end though persistency telling her that you know she wants to enjoy she had to be more expressive 
Ah, wow. This is good stuff right here, everyone. This is what I call Ijo being a chat move here, teaching her, you know, there is things more than just studying. Enjoy yourself, express yourself, and just don't always like think that you everything you do is right. Always have a, you always listen to the opinion of others. So, damn, gotta say, man, this is good stuff, man. I mean, of course, you know, she's not your typical girl where she acts very, very girly. She's like try. She's just a sort of girl that want to like be mature and stuff like that. But in the end, though. Just remain mature all the time is not easy, man. And I Joe, knowing the fact that he has experience, he knows how to counter it. So yeah, definitely this is a really good episode teaching. You know, uh, let's see, I you know I Joe being such a chat again, t uh, break, uh, helping. You know, um, yeah, I, I think I just call her like Nano at this point to like break it, break out of her this sort of like stubbornness and just you know in, in this sort of like um space that she holds, she keep herself inside. She had to go outside that space. So yeah, man, I Joe man being persistent, telling her that. I, I would do whatever it takes to make sure you fall in love with me. Oh my god, this is why this guy is amazing, man. This is why he deserves to be top boy of the season. Cause once, you, once you see when a when a boy. Oh, by the way, the reason why we all like her even more is because she is horny as hell. I mean, the way she does things is just so questionable, to be honest. But I love it. I fucking love it. And I, I'm pretty sure this is just one of the things she can she will do i'm pretty sure she's gonna do even more wild stuff to come but yeah guys definitely definitely i uh, know I, I can say for myself that easily nano is one of the best girl this season for me man i really enjoy her like she's not your tip like i said she's the sort of girl that i enjoy watching cool demeanor silver hair red eye girl pale skin good good sized body and most importantly being voiced by amazing voice actor and of course she is very some you know very honest with some of the stuff she says she just says stuff out of her head so i like i, I really like girls like that rather than very overreactive over shy like we saw the first two girls man i gotta say man i when i first saw her i just knew immediately that she would be first love for me and i definitely enjoy her character a lot but of course this is just the first episode i'm pretty sure there's more to come for her and i can't wait to see what what's in store for us for the next episode which will be a fan service episode which i can can definitely can tell that it, it's gonna be one hell of an episode to enjoy you know bikinis sexy girl's body and battle of chess so yeah next episode it's gonna be peak everyone and i'm all in for it so with that said hope you guys enjoy my reactions smash the button guys and i'll see you guys next week for a fan servicey episode bye bye